All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back. So this video, I'm gonna be making something a little different. I was asked by some friends in the neighborhood to make a towel hanger for around their pool to hang on the wall to hang towels on. And they wanted it in the shape of a surfboard. So rather than taking a real surfboard, I had this half inch piece of PVC. Um, it was kind of left over from another sign job that I did a while back. And I decided to go with it because being PVC, it won't rot or be, get destroyed out in the weather uh, down here in Florida. So I'm going to guide you through the first steps of this and then I'm just going to let the time lapse run while I paint it. So I'm basically just doing some measurements here and coming up with a shape for this thing. It's 90 inches long, so it's just, just a little shy of 8 foot and it's about 2 foot thick or wide. So I'm just drawing the curve on this thing. And once I'm comfortable with the curve and I think it looks right, then I just take the jigsaw and cut the shape out. Now, this stuff cuts real easy with a jigsaw, but it does heat up. And you can see right here, the friction of the saw blade heats it up and makes it kind of like a sticky, gooey liquid PVC. And then it hardens up into these crusty boogers here. So we got to get these off before I can move forward. So I tried using some really coarse sandpaper to get that off and it didn't work, just like it didn't work the last time. So I went ahead with the metal file here and it takes a little while, but you can get it pretty smooth. And I don't need this 100% smooth because when I'm done painting this thing, I'm gonna put some rope around the outside perimeter of it. All right, then I'm gonna take some sandpaper on a sander here and just scuff up the top surfaces, surface of this thing so that the primer will have something extra better to grip onto. So here's the cutout, the cutout piece of PVC in the final shape. Now, in order to make this a little bit stronger for hanging on the wall, I'm gonna use some uh, one by ones, pressure treated, and they're gonna be screwed to the back of this board just to get, make it a little bit more rigid and strong because the PVC is pretty flexible if you get a long enough piece of it. So I'm just measuring out this wood here and that's gonna go on the back, which I'll show you here in the next step. So I'm doing one piece down the middle and then two shorter pieces on the top and bottom. And I went to Walmart and got these uh, dock cleats, they're little plastic ones, uh, meant for, you know, you can put them on a boat or on a dock. And those are going to be the towel hangers. So I have to pre-drill this wood before I put a big screw through it or else it'll split. So I'm lining these up on the piece of wood on the back side of this PVC board. And once I'm comfortable with the location of them, I will go ahead and mark spots and then I'll drill drill holes through this and I'll sink the drill all the way through the wood into the PVC. That way when I'm done with this project the screw will be going through the wood and not just the PVC. So I just grab a bunch of exterior decking screws and I'm just find, trying to find ones that are long enough to go through the PVC and the wood. And that's a better choice right there. Now I do the same thing for the middle piece. And I'm finding my perfect center line and I'm going to make sure that this, these smaller pieces of wood are perfectly spaced out from that center line. So that everything's, they're all three pieces of wood are nice and level with one another. And I use some clamps to hold that in place. And then I will just drill through those marks that I put. Using a drill bit that's slightly smaller in diameter than the wood screws I'm using. Now, when I'm done with this, I'm basically going to just temporarily put in one or two screws from the front side, and then I'll repeat the process on each piece of wood. 
And when the painting is done, it's basically gonna look just like this. And that's the placement of the hooks. And I used a small washer underneath the wood screw. That way the screw uh, is less likely to sink through that plastic because after all, it is just plastic. Moving forward, I'm going to start painting this beach scene. They got a real nice pool area in the back of their house, and they got a little tiki bar and just kind of like coastal vibes. So we're going to make this look like a nice sunset painting on this board. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of let this run out, and I'm not really going to explain much. I just wanted to explain those beginning processes so you could see that it's more than just a painting. It wasn't a real board and just the beginning steps. So now I'm just going to go ahead and paint this on time lapse, speed it up, throw some rope around this thing, and then put the hooks back on and uh, get it over to their house so they can start using it. So thanks for watching, Matt Makes. I make a lot of weird stuff. I make a lot of common stuff. I paint a lot of wall murals, I do a lot of uh, signs, and just a lot of random things. So if you like, the uh, process, time lapses, and everything like that, and uh, check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. See you later.